Hello there and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to get a tight guitar sound with this bad boy here. The Line 6 Pod HD Pro X. Yes, now many people have been asking uh, how do you get your sound, what what patch do you use, etc, uh, etc. Et so I just decided to make this video for you. Um, I'm gonna show you how to dial in a good sound, but I'm also going to give you some tips uh, concerning your, your playing, because your playing is something that affects the sound more than you might think. Uh, the guitar I will be using for this video is my lovely Carvin DC700 which has uh, Kiesel lithium pickups in it. There's also a full review on this on this channel, so go ahead and check it out. Uh, the strings on this guitar are the, the Dario NYXL, which are amazing strings. Um, these ones on this guitar are like two months old, yes I know, but they still sound pretty pretty good. And uh, yeah, by the way, shout out to the era. can you please fucking endorse me? Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so let's go tweak some knobs. Alright, let's begin. This is your raw signal. Alright, then let's choose an amp simulation. I go to the preamp, where the preamps are. Line 6 electric pre. Sounds pretty shit. So I choose a cab and I take the 4x12 XXL V30 cab. And as a mic, I choose the SM57 on axis. That sounds better already. Wait, let's turn the gain down. So, it's still a bit dry. That's why we choose a... Screamer. Well, I usually put the drive to 0%. Uh, less bass. Turns right, treble, yeah. Just leave that. And I put the output to 100%, so you get that extra punch. Now let's hear it without the screamer again. Now with. It bites. Right, could use some more, maybe a little bit more treble on the amp. Well, that sounds pretty nice actually. But you can hear that hum, and that it's not very, very clean. So uh, let's put a noise gate in front of that, and it's quite already DK, like something under ten percent. Not not zero zero is not good. It's because it will uh, weaken your signal too much. And what I did actually on my other patch is put another noise gate just behind the screamer with some less threshold and decay like also like this so it's really clean. Here's some more. Now the noise gates uh, actually take a bit of gain away from the sound so you can go can add a bit uh, on the amp sim well that sounds 
sounds pretty nice, if you ask me. The one thing I can tell you, just keep it simple. Don't put like two amp sims over each other and five screamers and whatever. Just keep it like a real rig. Just your amp, your cab, your mic, and in front you have the noise gate and a screamer. And that's all. That's It's not much of a witchcraft. Everyone can do that. And uh, yeah, I hope that you helped you. That you helped you. No, I helped you. Sorry. Right. Cool. <laughs> Cheers. Now I made a monuments cover like a couple of days ago and people ask how do you get that monument sound? <laughs> Me personally, I'm a very huge fan of John Brown and also of his right picking hand, so... <laughs> I tell you, it's all about the right hand. If you play like this... There's, there's no power, there's no aggressiveness, there's no that wow sound. Now, let's compare to this, like... There's a difference, right? So the patch is only as good as you're playing. Keep that in mind. So let's sum that up. Keep your patch simple. Don't oversaturate anything and keep it tight. And then of course Get that right hand go crazy okay all right guys uh, thank you very much for watching this video uh, if you liked what I played if you like what I do uh, go check out Solange on Facebook and on our website I would be very happy if you give us a like uh, if you got any questions just comment below yeah that was pretty much it so see you soon <laughs>